Hello everyone, welcome to the world according to Jason. Today we are again in Orlando and we are at Seto Sushi. And we're here for some pretty amazing Japanese food. All right, so we've ordered a couple of appetizers and they both arrived. We got the beef wontons, which have a Sichuan chili crisp oil on them. And then we got the garlic lime edamame, which is supposed to be pretty dang good. So we're gonna go ahead and try one of these dumplings. Look, look at that. All right, going in. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness, I need a moment. That is so good, the wonton wrapper is like thin, it's not too thick, the beef is so flavorful, and then that citron chili crisp on top is just like, something tearing up. Oh, that is beautiful. All right, let's try out this garlic edamame. All right, let's give this a shot. Oh wow, that is so good. I've only ever had like salted edamame. I think I've had like some spicy edamame from some places. With that garlic, it's so nice. And then you have those like citrus pop from the lime. That is really, really good. This is the best way to eat your greens, people. Mm. Well, this is a, we're off to a good start. We have some uh, sushi coming and we're also gonna try out their curry. So stay tuned, we'll see how it is. All right, so all of our food has arrived. We have a couple of rolls. We got the Distinguished Gentleman and Beauty and the Beast. We also got two pieces of Otoro uh, sushi. And then we have a katsu curry plate with a fried egg on top. And we got a pork cutlet. Let's give the curry a shot. Just gonna dunk it in a little bit of the curry. It smells so amazing. All right, go it in. Oh, ooh, oh. Beautifully fried pork cutlet. That curry is so freaking amazing. A little bit of heat. Oh, this is so good. All right, let's try out some of the sushi. We're gonna try the Distinguished Gentleman first. It's got shrimp, asparagus, jalapenos, a garlic aioli, and wagyu on top. Let's give it a shot here. All right, going in. Mm, that is so good. You get the nice pop from the shrimp. Very fresh. The Wagyu is delicious. Fried jalapenos are awesome. Slight heat. And then you have that just creaminess from that garlic aioli. This is a killer roll. The next one we have is called the Beauty and the Beast. And it's got shrimp tempura on the inside, avocado and spicy tuna with fish eggs. And there's also eel. So we're gonna have to try a couple pieces. We're gonna try the one with the, eel, the avocado first. Dunk a little bit of it in that sauce. So we got a little bit of spicy tuna, a little bit of avocado. It's going in. Spicy tuna is deliciously spicy. You get the nice crunch from the tempura on the shrimp. You have the pop of the fish eggs on top. That avocado is nice and creamy. Let's try a piece with eel on it. This has got eel and avocado. I'm gonna dunk it in the soy sauce. Give it a shot. Going in. Mm. Oh, that eel is so good. These are both amazing rolls. They did say they're um, two of the top three that are at this restaurant. All right, well last but certainly not least, we're gonna go for the fatty tuna, the Otoro sushi. Just a wee little dunk here. All right, going in. Oh my, what? <laughs> Matt and I lovingly refer to Otoro as tuna butter because it just has that consistency of butter. It just melts in your mouth. That delicious, fresh tuna flavor. Wow, that is so good. It is so fatty and perfect, but expensive. I think they were $10 a piece, right? And you had to order minimum of two, so 20 bucks in that little plate right there. How I would compare this piece to Sushi Zanmai in Japan. I'm gonna have to give, oh man, I think I'm gonna have to give the edge to Sushi's on mine just because it's like, 
that was a legendary experience, but this is as close as I've come to that in the US. So worth it. If you come here, splurge. Just get, I mean, you have to get minimum two, but get it, it's worth it. Oh, all right, well, folks, this is a gorgeous meal we have in front of us. We're gonna go ahead and devour it, but I really hope that you ha all have the opportunity to come here. Link will be down in the description below where to find this place. Make sure you, you do come if you come to Orlando, or if you live in the area and you haven't been here before, you're crazy and you need to rectify that right now. All right, well that's gonna bring us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, please make sure that you hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed, and hit the bell notification so as soon as new videos pop up, you'll be the first to know about it. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end, and until next time, stay curious.